Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another awesome episode of What's Crackin' Like It In The Toy World. I am your host, P2, and let's get to it! Boom! Let's step right into 1-6 scale collectibles. I am extremely, extremely mega pumped right now. Hot Toys put out a teaser picture the other day of their Hulk action figure. Yes, Hulk, 1-6 scale action figure. I am extremely excited for this. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but we've been waiting for a 1-6 scale Hot Toys quality action figure of um, our Mighty Hulk and uh, the Mighty Hulk. <laughs> Incredible Hulk, duh. Anyways, super pumped, it looks humongous. Um, it's obviously from the Avengers movie, and um, in the picture you can see him right next to um, uh, Tony Stark in his Iron Man uniform, and uh, it looks massive. It looks massive. It looks like it's going to be roughly 16 inches maybe, 16, 17 inches. I'm sure people out there doing calculations know exactly what the height's supposed to be. Um, I don't really care. It looks humongous already. It looks like it's going to be kick-ass. How is the body going to be constructed? I am not sure whatsoever. I don't know if it's going to be soft, hard, a mixture of both, or just completely soft, hard. I know, no innuendos, people. I know what you're laughing at right now. No. But anyways, and um, the, the shorts, the well, shorts on the Hulk, of course, they look pretty, uh, uh, pretty awesome. So I look, that figure looks fantastic. That figure looks fantastic. I'm not going to lie. I'm pumped. I'm definitely pumped. But anyways, other than that, they also released for pre-order the uh, Avengers Thor, which looks pretty awesome in itself. Um, they did a good job on the uh, armor on the hand. It's more, um, more uh, what do you call it? You can see the muscle uh, definition a little bit better than the, the first release. The first release, you couldn't even see anything. It was just like a, like a sleeve, and that's it. Um, and if you see in the movies, he definitely has that muscle tone on that uh, piece of, um, on that sleeve of the armor. So uh, they did a okay job getting that. I'm, I'm sure it's pretty, it's a pain in the ass to in, in order to get that done because if it wasn't, they probably would have done it already. But um, but it looks better than the first one. There's people complaining about the head sculpt. Um, I, I guess I don't know. To me, it looks good. It looks good. Um, it doesn't need really that many changes. Um, if Hot Toys knows what the people are talking about that don't like it and can change it, then boom. Some people think it's perfect. I think it looks good. And uh, long hair, no helmet this time, and uh, yeah, it looks it looks pretty awesome. It comes with a little cube. I forgot the Tarasak or whatever the name is, and uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Also, Sideshow Collectibles uh, put out for pre-order their. Let me get this right. M Zero or O M M Nine Battle Droid One Six Hill figure, and um, it's a commander. If I'm not mistaken, it has the yellow painting and everything and uh, just another figure, it's like $70 and it definitely is screaming um, army, you know, just, just buy 20 of them, just put them right there next to each other and just make a whole of humongous battle droid once it's go army, okay? I should, I'm just saying, it's just a suggestion. Um, also, 3 A's Ambush from Real Steel. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying Real Steel together but I do, um, came out for pre-order. It's $330 and as you've seen already and I've explained already or reiterated, it looks awesome and the articulation looks like it's gonna be pretty insane. So can't wait to see that again. Can't wait to see reviews um, of people actually moving it around, see how the articulation really is. Woo! Let's go to statues. Statues. So, in Sideshow Collectibles, put up for pre-order the Darth Maul from the uh, Mythos line. And like I said, this Mythos, me, <laughs> this Mythos line looks amazing. And uh, they're taking, they're pretty much doing whatever they want to an extent. Of course, they're not going to change Darth Maul's color or whatever. But um, you can definitely see the creativeness pumping out of that um, statue. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Um, it's one fifth scale, 18 inches tall with the base. It's um, 250 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's all sorts of sexy. It looks awesome. 
has part of the freaking um, what do you call that? That robe coming off, the hands extended. It's like I'm Darth Maul, bitch. Um, and yeah, so pretty awesomeness. I can't wait to see what else this line is going to grant us in awesomeness. Um, also, they um, released a preview of the Rhino comic cat. Yes, this comic cat looks like it's gonna be pretty big. I doubt it's gonna be quarter scale, but at least one fifth scale. And uh, we all know Colossus was pretty colossal in the one fifth scale um, uh, format. So this thing is gonna be big. I know it's again not quarter scale, but it's gonna be humongous. And um, it's uh, I think it's the first full blown statue that we get of Rhino from Statue Collectibles. I know we got the the LSB, which was pretty awesome. Legendary scale bust for those who don't know, um, which is a half scale bust in case you didn't know. But, uh, but yeah, so this is a new addition to the Rhino um, collectibles in the world. Yes. Boom! Done with statues. Let's move on! Let's go to vinyls. So I was uh, roaming around Tumblr doing my tumbling. <laughs> and um, I, I tumbled. I got <laughs> so stupid. Ah, oh, anyways, I found this uh, this Tumblr of this um, couple. They're actually a couple, apparently from France. If I I read their uh, information correctly, and their uh, Tumblr is named um, Art My Mind. It's always gonna be down there just in case. And they have sick, sick costumes. Um, from uh, they're all the most of them are uh, monies and dunnies. Um, but uh, but they're pretty awesome, and uh, I'm gonna show you some pictures and uh, show you what's crack a lagging, cause they are amazing. They have um, they, it looks like their own little line of um, of uh, custom. Uh, it's like little world. I'm not sure exactly. I really haven't read uh, much about it. I think there's not much to read. But anyways, they have um, Amano Jaku as one of their characters that they do a few um, customs, they, they change the color from here sometimes, they do like a red version, a blue version, whatnot. They have an Imperial Guard Samurai, they have a Fallen Samurai, and my a favorite f uh, that I saw is the uh, Isamu Tora. That's, I'm, I'm hopefully, I'm saying this correctly, but Isamu Tora is my favorite. And the reason it's my favorite is because it's using a uh, freaking awesome vinyl toy um, as the uh, frame for this uh, for this custom, and um, they they did such a sick ass job on the painting. They that tattoo looks awesome, and the figure itself looks fantastic. So uh, definitely pretty awesome. Check out the website, um, their Tumblr, because they got amazing amazing customs there. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out there because it's pretty awesome. See, I have my this is weird names, and I needed to say them perfectly. Boom. Let's move on to J. Ryu's <clears throat> Good Night Sweet Dreams XO My Little Pony Custom. As you know, I love J. Ryu's work. Yes, I do. And his My Little Pony Custom is pretty freaking amazing. It's for a My Little Pony um, Custom Show uh, tag, which opened, I think, um, Saturday. Friday or Saturday. It was last week. And uh, it showcased a bunch of uh, My Little Ponies, um, big, I think 18 inch My Little Pony um, blanks that obviously people customized and artwork as well, paintings and whatnot. Um, and it was pretty awesome. And this is Jay Ryu's um, custom for the show, which is pretty awesome, my friend. Jay Ryu, keep kicking ass, buddy. You rock. Um, also, Rotobox Vinyl Anatomica continuing their awesome domination of customizing robots. They got. Uh, <clears throat> Let me see if I say this correctly. Yuo, Yuo Maru. Yuo Maru. Not Japanese. Um, old school robot. And of course, the Messenger Z key um, custom with um, Koji. I'm not sure who Koji is, but I do gotta. I, I have to do some uh, research on this guy because apparently I'm hoping it's a guy and it helped uh, Rotobox get this done and it looks awesome. So uh, this is like, what, 15 inches tall, if I'm not mistaken? Pretty humongous, so it looks awesome. And Rotobox again kicking some ass um, at customizing their um, uh, Celsius. Celsius, I forgot. Whatever, I suck. Anyways, let's go to Cody. <laughs> Cody Koala's freaking awesome Sonic the Hedgehog Mecha um, custom, and this Mecha is from the um, 
20th anniversary, 1991 or 90, I think 91, um, Honey the, Sonic the Hedgehog that I have, which I reviewed. <laughs> and he grabbed that 10-inch um, figure and made it a mecha, which looks awesome, which is being driven by a 3-inch Sonic the Hedgehog. Can it get any better than that? Mm, no, it looks amazing. So it looks really cool. So Cody did an awesome job. I like it. Uh, I'm a big fan of the design of the uh, classic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. So of course I'm gonna love it. Anyways, uh, enough with vinyl. Let's move on. So ain't everything else miscellaneous, whatever you wanna call it. We have. Hot Toys Cross Babies. And why is this so important? Because that means, to me at least, that the uh, one six scale figure from the movie is uh, that much closer to being revealed and released, which is what I want to see because Spider-Man in the new movie looks pretty awesome. Love the suit. And I can't wait to see the um, the actual one six scale action figure. So that's why I'm excited when I saw this Cross Babies. I really like Cross Babies. You like Cross Babies? I'm not saying it's not cool to collect Cross Babies, but I just don't really like Cross Babies. So don't feel bad if you collect Cross Babies. <laughs> Enough about cause babies. <laughs> Bam! And last but not least, um, Sideshow has for pre-order the uh, Metal Gear Solid, Square Enix, Play Arts, Boom! Snake and Gray Fox slash Ninja, whatever you want to call that dude. I call him the Ninja because he kicks ass. And um, 60 bucks, they're in stock, and uh, you can get them right now. So I would suggest you to stop this video, close the window, open Sideshow, boop, 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 and get that. I'm pretty sure you have them already, and I'm the only douche that does not have these figures yet. So that's right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. You guys rock, and The Avengers is sick. If you have not seen The Avengers, go Watch it. It is amazing. You gotta understand. Amazing. The Hulk kicks so much ass. <laughs>